All right, Shalom. This is Brother Shamar from GMSSF Bay Camp. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders. And Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word and truth, this word and truth and sincerity. Now, this first scripture I'm going to get is nine, Matthew 19 and 27. It says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all. And followed thee, what shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So this is what we we out here doing it for, man. We we out here forsaking everything, man, to to inherit everlasting life, man. So we don't care about none of this stuff that's out here in this world, or you shouldn't care about it. All right. Because the scripture just said it right there that everything that we were for giving up, all right, your family, your children, your wife, you supposed to, Yah Bashim Yah Shai is still supposed to come first no matter what. Because with everything that we're forsaking right now, we're going to receive a hundredfold in the kingdom, man. Because this, you could easily just go out there and enjoy yourself like the two thirds doing. They, they, they basically, they trying to be on some polite shit, enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy my heaven now, and and I'm gonna enjoy it later, just cause you just cause you know that through your, you're gonna come through the line of the elect, even if you are a wicked nigga on this side. That ain't go, that ain't that's still the wrong mindset though, because you think that you're just gonna get judged quickly and put to death. It's gonna be horrible, man. It's not gonna be no quick death, man. And really, you just you have no integrity, no honor. All right. You should be able. This it's a light thing, man. To give up everything on this side, like what really, like everything's defiled, man. It's not nothing out here that's good for you. All right, you you give you giving up the truth for a woman, when all these women didn't had dudes already busting all inside of them. They didn't had kids and everything, or you giving it up, giving up the truth for, that for a fucking money, mammon. All right, and the money doesn't even have any value. And then when the economy collapsed, you gave up you gave up the truth for money, and then money's gonna fail you, man. It's not gonna save you in the times to come. And it's not gonna help you out getting into the kingdom. Alright, I'm gonna grab this other scripture. Cause you can't be cause really uh when you at when you um you basically attaching yourself to things in the world. You get entangled with it. And the scriptures tell you about loving the world. That's why. I... Yeah, I'll just grab this one right here. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. Flee also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. So you got to flee the youthful lusts, man. Everything that's because the flesh is contrary to the spirit. And that's just a lust, man. Especially if you're young in the truth, you got more of a, um, more, you, you got more of a burning lust. Like you want to get, you just want to pop all these chicks or whatever. When it's when all these chicks, they gonna really just they gonna just get you destroyed. The heart, the woman's heart is nothing but snares and nets, man. So you chasing after you you fleeing after your youthful lust that could get you caught up, man. Whether it's you're lusting after money, after women, or after vain glory, things pertaining to the world and not to the spirit. Because the only thing that's gonna help us in the times to come, man. It's going to be Yahabashim Yahashai. It ain't going to be this world. Anything that's pertaining to this world can't save us.
So, you, so like I read in Matthew 19, you got to be ready to give up everything, man. Because if you're not really, if you're not ready to give up everything, then you're not even fit to be a servant of Yahweh by Shema All right? And it's going to get revealed. You can't put, you can only put up a front for so long before the truth just comes out. You can't hide the truth forever. All right? And then you're doing the work deceitfully on top of that. So you're going to be judged, man. So you got to be ready to give up everything, man. This is really, it's a light thing to give up everything on this side to inherit everlasting glory. All right, through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. And you got to keep that in mind, man. Keep it, keep it in mind what you're doing it for. Reminding yourself, stir up your remembrance, as the scriptures say. Because if you don't, if you're not reminding yourself, you give place to for other demons to come in your, your head and plant ideas. And then you, now you, you go on, your, your mindset is on something else besides the main goal, which is getting into the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, and receiving salvation. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Stay up, man. Stay strong because Satan coming harder. The closer we're getting to the end, Satan coming harder, man. So you got to do like Ephesians um, Ephesians say, man, put on the whole armor of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because that's the only way we're going to be able to battle against Satan. If you ain't got your armor on, man, you're defenseless. So with that, man, Shalom.